Now, hello everybody, this is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. So today we're going to go ahead and, uh, uh, this is video three in a series of videos on the uh, CrossFit 4. We're going to go ahead and uh, set this up for an adult mechanical ventilation. And uh, what we're going to do is, I have a patient, adult patient, I want him in volume control ventilation. I want a mode of assist control. I want to give him a 500 milliliter tidal volume. I want my peak flow to be 50 liters per minute. I want my mandatory rate to be eight breaths a minute with five of PEEP. So those are my settings that I want. So we'll go ahead and turn the ventilator on. Give ourselves some time on the alarm. Okay, so the first thing, I want volume control ventilation. So I need to make sure that it's on main and that is selected. And I select adult, which is selected. My mode is assist control. So I want assist control selected here, which it is. I want my tidal volume to be 500 milliliters. So I'll go ahead and select tidal volume and go on the up arrow here. And that'll bring me up to 500 milliliters. I want my mandatory rate to be eight breaths a minute. So I'll select rate and we'll go down. Almost there. Eight breaths a minute. All right, and then I want um, my peep to be plus five centimeters. So down here, I'll go ahead and increase uh, my peep. Obviously, it's not going to give me um, anything other than zero because I don't have uh, any uh, gas hooked up to the ventilator, but this is how I would increase the peep. So we'll just say that I've increased it and I've got five of peep here now. So I'm good to go there. And I want 50 liters per minute of my flow. So you see I can't actually select the flow because the way I adjust the flow is by doing it down here. So peep and flow down here, um, everything else is up here. So I want 50 liters per minute. Right now it's set at 23. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this and you will see that the flow increases. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little more time here with this. Um, I also want you to watch the I to E ratio here. So right now it's 1 to 5.8. That ratio should become larger as my flow increases, and you can definitely see that that's occurring. So we're now uh, in the mid-30s. Going up on the flow. and 50 liters per minute. Um, clearly that gives me an interesting ID ratio and we might, in, in reality, we might want to uh, consider adjusting that a little bit. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and stick with that since this is more about um, just interfacing with the ventilator. Okay, so I've got my initial settings in, then I wanna go ahead and set my alarms up. And again, we can just do basic alarms, low alarm, uh, 10 above and 10 below, what you think your patient's doing. So let's say our patient's peak pressure happens to be 20. Um, so I'll go ahead and set my low alarm at 10, and then my high alarm at uh, 30, 10 above and 10 below. All right, my rate alarm, we'll go ahead and we'll set that at 6. And the high rate, uh, he's 8 right now. Let's just go ahead and drop that down to uh, 30 or so. All right, um, exhaled minute uh, ventilation. Um, we'll go ahead and it's not gonna do anything for me right now because I'm not ventilating, but uh, we set that a, a liter above and maybe a liter below what, what um, our patient is exhaling. We'll go ahead and give ourselves another uh, two minutes there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to alarm two, um, set my low and high peep. So my peep is at five. I'm now at the uh, secondary screen. I want to go ahead and initiate a um, inspiratory hold so I can monitor my plateau pressures. So I'll go ahead and put that at 10%. And then I will go to my view. And uh, my net plateau pressure is now goes from off to zero. And obviously it's zero because I don't have any pressure. Um, but that's where I'd monitor my uh, plateau pressure. And at this point, I am now set up. Um, for basic adult mechanical ventilation. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say that we want to change things a little bit. I want to go ahead and now go from assist control into SIMV. 
I'll simply select SINV. My backup rate remains the same. But now that I am in SINV, I can change my pressure support. And let's say that we want five of pressure support. I'll go down, select five, and then we can go back to main. So that is the basic setup for an adult patient in uh, volume control ventilation. Hopefully that makes sense uh, for you guys that are having any issues with that. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about pressure control here in a little bit. Hello everybody, this is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar. So today we're going to go ahead and uh, initiate pressure control ventilation on a patient. Uh, the uh, cross vent for uh, does not do pressure control ventilation very, very easily or very well in, in the uh, adult patients. Uh, simply because there's a massive amount of bias flow that comes out of it and it, it uses an incredible amount of gas. So generally we, we can't do or we don't do adult patients in, in pressure control ventilation. So what I'm going to do to go into pressure control ventilation is first I need to have a special tubing. Um, I need to uh, have the addition of what's known as a pneumo tack um, attached to the ventilator tubing and it's a small tubing with a little red cap. Um, once I have all that set up, I can go ahead and look at initiating pressure control ventilation in my pediatric patient. So the, the way I will do that is I will go ahead and select baby here, and um, it now goes into CMV, uh, Control Mechanical Ventilation. That is the only mode of ventilation I have available in pressure control. Now I just want you guys to look at these settings here. I'm going to go ahead and go back into adult and you can see rate, tidal volume, ID, and flow. But when I switch into baby here, my um, <clears throat> you can see that my tidal volume has been replaced by an inspiratory time. And I have obviously my rate and my flow. Um, so let's say that we're doing pediatric patient, um, uh, 0.6 seconds. That's actually a pretty decent inspiratory time for a kiddo. Uh, well, we're gonna wanna go up on that rate, of course. And let's just go ahead and make the rate 20 here. Um, now my flow, of course, uh, is a little on the high side at 50. So we're going to go ahead and drop that flow down a little bit. And we'll say somewhere around 10 liters per minute. Alright, so 10 liters per minute of flow. Uh, my peep. Now, when we talk about pressure control, the way that I set my pressure control is with this maximum pressure uh, dial here. And what I'm going to do is let's say that I want my max pressure at 20. So this thing will be going up and down, up and down, up and down. And what I'll do is I'll just decrease my max pressure now because my max pressure is going to be way up here. And I'm going to go ahead and decrease it. And it's going to be going up and down as I decrease it. It's going to go down and going to go down. Let's say we want 20. Boom, I'm at 20. So it's going up and down to 20 here. That and once I hit that 20, it'll it'll read 20 with every breath, and that's actually how I set my PIP or my peak inspiratory pressure is with this dial here. And then I just got to watch where the breaths go. And that is the basics of setting up a patient in pressure control ventilation. Of course, you'll need to set your alarms. Um, uh, accordingly and uh, of course uh, in pressure control ventilation we cannot do uh, things such as uh, plateau pressures and static compliance um, simply because um, all that becomes irrelevant when I'm ventilating to a pressure as opposed to a volume. Okay guys hopefully that made sense and, and hopefully this really helped a couple of you guys that were a little confused about transitioning to this ventilator. Take care everybody.